I obviously love to draw, and there were moments in my life where I got away with a little doodling when I shouldn't have. In preschool, after playtime, the teachers would tell us that we had to take a nap. So we had these blue thingies that we would fall asleep on for an hour or two. But me, as a sneaky guy I was, I'd pretend to sleep for 15 minutes, then I would wake up as the teachers would leave to eat lunch or something, and go over to the middle of the nap time square and sit at the table, take a sheet of paper from the table, and draw until the teachers come back with my pencils. So I'd wake up basically, draw for 30 minutes, and pretend to sleep until they come in. If you guys are asking, how did you not get caught with the drawing on the table and the pencils also left on the table? Well, when I finished drawing, I would go over to the cubby and slide my paper and pencils into my book bag. But then one time, I was obviously doing it again, and I heard footsteps. I thought it was Dylan, my partner in crime, but I turned the column and I saw the teacher. She caught me and I was sad. I told her what I've been doing and she told me that she sits in the corner and watches me the whole time. She said she eats in the corner of the room and watches me. I was so shocked because I never really noticed her with my little eyes. Then from there on out, she would sit with me at the table and she would watch me draw. She ate her egg salad sandwich that she would bring every time. I might have been seen as I did it, but I put it in here because I thought I was sneaky. This might have not been the exact thing that happened because I think I was five when I did it. So my brain has kind of gone poof, but I think it's pretty close. Everyone gets bored from school time to time. And when I get bored, I draw. So every time I get the opportunity, I doodle. I would draw in the corner of the paper that we would usually be going over and I would think I'm sneaky, which I was because I never got caught, ever. I would usually draw myself, or depending on the subject, I would draw that. Because if I draw that and I get caught, I won't be in as much trouble as if I draw something completely off topic. I would also do the same in the notebook that we would usually be writing notes in and like normal, I would draw little sketches, but sometimes I get risky and I draw very weird random stuff that I don't even know what they're supposed to look like. And the same thing with other doodles, I luckily never got caught, but I almost did once. I was quickly writing things down, then when I finished writing my notes down, I started to doodle in the corner of my paper, but then the teacher started to walk around to see if people were writing stuff down, like they were supposed to. I saw her starting to walk to me and I sweated. I started to stress quickly and reached into my desk and picked up a big eraser that was kind of in the shape of an O because I poked a hole through it and quickly erased a little sketch. And I swear she peeked over my little bony shoulder and saw me trying to erase the doodle. But she only thought that she passed me and continued to look around. I was so relieved. I barely survived that day. My drawing habit doesn't just stay in school, it goes everywhere, including restaurants. Since I'm a kid, I've gotten these things that come with those little thick crayons and a sheet of paper that has puzzles and tic-tac-toe games on it usually. And usually, the back is blank. So, of course, I usually doodle so much that I have no more space on the paper left. Which is not the worst problem, unless you forget it there because if one random worker finds it, he or she will be so confused. And he or she won't be able to tell what I drew because of how thick the crayon lines are. And one time I drew a stick figure on a toilet just to be funny. But that time was one of the times I accidentally left it there. And as I left, I saw a worker go to clean up our table and I got scared and I ran out as fast as I could because if I walked out he would have ran over and gave it back to me and that would have been one of the most awkward moments of my life but luckily I ran out as fast as I could so he couldn't get to me in time it's all the stories I can make out off the top of my head so I think I'm done here
I don't want to make this video too long because it'll take too much time to animate. And I don't have that time on my hands because of school and stuff. But, um, yeah, that's the reason I didn't have an end card. So, bye everybody. Stay safe. Come on.